Hello there, my name is Ben Worthington from IELTSpodcast.com and we're going to look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of studying IELTS online. First of all, it's been said, well we'll look at the cons first and then we'll look at the pros, okay? A few students have said that they might feel a little bit isolated when they're studying online and that's probably true. If you're a kind of small social person, you might prefer studying in the classroom the traditional way, okay? Some of the other disadvantages are that you could be distracted, you know? You're there studying online and suddenly you might want to watch some cat videos on YouTube or whatever, okay? So there's the distractions as well. Uh, next one, discipline. Discipline could be a problem. Depends on the actual kind of person you are, okay? However, if you're going for IELTS and you've decided to go for it, I imagine you're pretty self-disciplined, motivated and responsible kind of person, you know, because you don't get like idiots going to present, to, uh, to go and do the IELTS exam, usually anyway. <laughs> okay, next one. Um, if you're studying online, some have said that there's, you got to be quite technical, you got to know how to use, um, you know, a computer nowadays everybody knows that basically I mean if you've got onto YouTube you can basically study online well you could with my course anyway you just need to email and it's not difficult I think that argument has been buried it's a bit of an old argument um, maybe more for those over 60 than practically in my experience anyway everybody knows how to go online and use a browser anyway next next one let's go into the pros so some of the pros are that one, the cost, and I'm not just comparing it now to the actual cost of going to an academy and sitting there and watching the class doing two hours a day, two hours a week, whatever. And that's, I mean, it can be quite expensive. Yeah, I've seen some of the prices then. I mean, that's not bad, but ask yourself, are they offering a guarantee? Okay, and um, second of all, the cost there, although it is expensive, we're not even going into the time in, into detail about the time it costs to get from your house to the actual academy because that's time as well, and time is money basically, and the transport cost, the petrol, the ticket, whatever. So even though it might be two hours a week, it will still probably consume at least three hours a week. Okay, and an hour traveling, you're doing nothing, absolutely nothing, unless you're making use of it. But even then, it's time you could have been could, that could have been spent doing something more productive. Now the next one, the convenience factor. Okay, if you sign up for a course in Melbourne for between January and March, that means you have to be in Melbourne all that time. Okay, that is a big responsibility for some people I and mean, for some it's all right but personally I like to move around and traveling quite a bit if I do a course I usually do it online and that means that I could I don't know start in Berlin if I go back home to England I can carry on learning it's not going to just stop and I'm not going to lose my money okay so it's quite a good investment that way and um, this is good really for IELTS students because obviously um, you're probably traveling or you're outside of your home country so you want something that corresponds to your necessities okay if you're going back home to India to Iran or wherever then you can just pick up where you left off and carry on your learning okay another one another advantage is that well not only is that if it's if you're going back home and you want to carry on, that's basically called location independent, okay? And with my course, all you need to have access to is either email and YouTube, because all your essays are uploaded onto YouTube, and they get analyzed and they get viewed, so you can watch them a million times, if you've got time. <laughs> but you can, well basically, you can watch it on your phone when you're having a lunch break, you can watch it when you go back home to Dubai, or wherever you live. Okay, it doesn't matter, it follows you, follows, follows you wherever you go. The next factor, okay, is that it's individualized, it's highly individualized for you. 
And what I mean is that when you go to a class, okay, you're going to be sat there, I don't know, maybe with three, um, let's see, three people from one nationality, maybe three Chinese people or, or three Koreans, five Saudi Arabians, and you're there in the middle, maybe you're from Italy or from India, and it's going to be really difficult for the tutor to take into account all these different nationalities. And not only that, maybe this nationality is extremely proficient, this uh, nationality, the, next, the other nationality isn't that good, and the teacher's got to balance between that. And how do you do that? Well, it's really difficult. I've been there and I've tried to teach those types of classes. Sometimes the advanced group gets bored and switches off. Sometimes the lower group is just really struggling, doesn't understand it. The student in the middle is just completely disillusioned. So, and it ends up being a real waste of time, okay? So I don't want that to happen. Make sure, if you are gonna go for the classes, make sure that everybody has a similar ability. But if you, and that's really difficult to organize from an academy point of view, plus it's not really profitable either from an academic point of view. The next point I want to say is that if you're in the classroom, you can get lots of distractions, okay? And um, you can get lots of distractions and there's quite a bit of pressure, okay? And there's the risk of being embarrassed and not responding, okay? Whereas if you're studying online, any question that pops into your mind, jump online, send an email, and you know, you're not going to get laughed at. No one's gonna no one's going to like tease you about it next week. You know, you're just there, send it, bang, job's done, you get your answer the next day. Okay? So and it also gives you more freedom as well. Okay? If the teacher is always talking about the IELTS speaking or the IELTS reading or whatever, or always doing IELTS listening exams, then you've just wasted your cash. Whereas if you're doing it online, you can get to choose the modules and advance at your own speed. If you, if you are really serious about doing IELTS online, then go over to IELTSpodcast.com, sign up, and have a look at all the courses there available. Okay? And good luck. And remember as well, take action, do things, make, uh, make moves, and a little, a little bit every day, and eventually you will get there. Okay? All the best and good luck in your IELTS exam. Take care.